Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a system of linear equations by graphing. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given three sets of systems of equations here. Notice I have each one labeled one solution, no solution, and infinitely many solutions. So I'm kind of telling you the answer right off the bat. The first one will have one solution, the second one will have no solutions, and the third one will have infinitely many solutions. We're going to solve each one of these by graphing, and I'm going to show you the key identifiers to see when each one of these will occur. So let's start with our first one here, one solution. We want to make this, well, both of our equations, to graph them, we're going to write them in y equals mx plus b form. So let's just start with the second equation because it'll be a little easier here. And all I have to do is subtract the 2x to both sides. In that case, I have y by itself, and I have a negative 2x here, really, plus 0, but we don't need that. We just can write it as y equals negative 2x. The first equation, let's rewrite that here, 3x plus y equals a negative 1. From there, I need to subtract a 3x to both sides. And I'll look with y by itself here, and I have a negative 3x minus 1 as the second equation, if you could see that. Oh man, what a, what a bad box. Let me erase that here. Okay, now my box is, well, nicer and neater. Now notice here the two slopes. Negative 2 is a slope, and negative 3 is a slope. That's going to be a key indicator here to determine that we have one solution. Either way, let's go hop onto Maple Learn and we'll graph these two equations and see where they intersect. All right, so we're going to go to learn.maplesoft.com and I'll put a link in the description below so you can go uh, check it out. I'm going to move my little equation editor part here to type in my answers and we have two equations to type in. The first one is y equals a negative 2x and the second one here is just y equals a negative 3x minus 1. Not too bad. Now we have to zoom in our graph, so we just kind of put our mouse over that area and we can zoom in and we can see where they're intersecting. If I can zoom in there on my keypad. All right, so what do we see? Well, we have an intersecting point right here at x equals negative one and our y value is a two. So negative one comma two right there. And that is gonna be the solution right here to the system of equations by graphing, negative one comma two, that coordinate point. We can see it here. Now notice our slopes are different, negative two and negative three. That really tells us that we're gonna have one solution for the system of equations when they intersect. All right, so let's go dive into the second example. All right, the second problem here is gonna have no solution. We still need to graph this, and to do that, we have to write this in y equals mx plus b form. Our first one equation is already in that form, y equals 1 half x minus 3. Second equation, we need to, well, get y by itself. I first subtract an x to both sides, and I'm left with a negative 2y on the left, and I have a negative x plus 4 on the right. Divide both sides by negative 2, remember to both parts here, negative 2's cancel, and y is now by itself. And negative x divided by negative 2 is a positive 1 half x, and then 4 divided by negative 2 is a, well, negative 2. Notice here my second equation here, y equals 1 half x minus 2, my slope is the same. 1 half my first equation, 1 half in the second equation, but notice the y-intercepts are different, negative 3 and negative 2. That's going to be important here to see why we have no solution. So let's go graph this on Maple Learn, and we can see, well, what these graphs look like and what does it mean to have no solution. So now let's go graph these two lines. y equals a 1 half, and that's base over x, uh, minus 3 was the first one, and the second one was y equals a 1 half x, uh, minus 2. Let's see where they intersect. Interesting. Notice these two lines do not intersect, meaning we don't have a solution here. I can zoom in a little bit so you can see it. We have no solution for these uh, these two lines, the system of the equation. Again, no solution. Notice it's because of the slope. We have a one-half here and one-half here. When you see that the slopes are the same and our y-intercepts are different, 
that tells us that we have no solution for this system equation, meaning these two lines will never intersect and we can never find that part where they do intersect. No solution here. So let's go dive into the last example. All right, now we're on our last problem, infinitely many solutions. We want to graph, well, both of these equations to see where or how they maybe intersect. So we want to write this in y equals mx plus b form. Notice the first one here is already in that form, y equals 2x minus 3. The second equation, let's convert that. Get y by itself, I add a 6x to both sides. 3y here is left on the left, and we have a 6x minus a 9 on the right. From there, divide both sides by a 3, and y is by itself here, 3's cancel. And now 6 divided by 3 comes out to be a 2, so we have a 2x here. And 9 divided by 3 is a 3, so we have a minus 3 here. So we have our second equation, y equals 2x minus 3. And notice something here, y equals 2x, y equals 2x. With 2 being the slope, it's the same for both of these equations, and negative 3 negative 3 is the y-intercept for both of the equations. And that's a real telltale sign here where they're basically the same exact equation here that will have infinitely many solutions here. But let's go hop onto MapleLearn and we can graph both of these equations and see what that looks like there. All right, so let's go graph these two equations. y equals 2x minus 3, and it's going to be redundant here, but y equals a 2x minus 3. What happened? Well, if you looked, when I, when I wrote that in here, let me erase the minus 3 part, minus 3, the lines just went right over each other. And that is actually, makes sense, right? We have the same exact line, same y-intercept right here, and same slope, slope of 2, y-intercept of negative 3. The two lines are exactly the same, meaning these two lines are right on top of each other, meaning there's infinitely many solutions. They're always intersecting. Any point that is on either one of these lines is a solution for the system of equations. So you'll have this sometimes happen when you have two lines that are the same line, and that's when we have infinitely many solutions. I hope you learned something here on how to solve a system of linear equations by graphing and really understanding when one solution occurs, no solution occurs, and infinitely many solutions occurs. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.